All right, guys, we got our post-workout meal. Um, I just got back from the gym, hit legs, and I'm pretty hungry, um, feeling very low energy. So I'm gonna eat, and what I'm having is four slices of Sara Lee bread, All right? So we got some butter spray on there, and I like to toast them, okay? We have some sugar-free jelly, only five calories a serving here, uh, and we have one container of egg beaters. Very typical meal for me. Um, I like to go ahead and spread the jelly on the bread and then take, you know, bite, bite. But uh, yeah, very low calorie meal, 250 calories in the eggs, 180 in the bread, and we'll round 15 or 20 in the jelly. So do the math there, and that's what we're having. I like to drizzle the Walden Farms pancake syrup over my eggs. I already drizzled it, but there's probably a little more. Um, so yeah, so I'm having guys, uh, just because you know, you're transitioning to a lean bulk and adding more calories, doesn't mean you have to necessarily, you know, use white or higher calorie bread and whole eggs instead of egg beaters and normal syrup instead of Walden Farms. So, um, just adding more clean food in, clean food, you know, quote unquote. So that's what I'm doing, guys. Um, I'm gonna enjoy this meal, and I'll see y'all in a little bit. Should be recording. Okay. If it says it's say record? Yeah. Alright. Alright guys, our strength is going up a little bit. Last week we only did two plates and a quarter um, for like sets of eight to ten. And now we should be able to get this for a solid twelve. Um, three plates, so we'll see how it goes. We've got our bursa grips over here. In between, so if you do your right arm and then you want to go to your left arm, you can kind of rest a good 20 30 seconds, let your energy kind of come back up, and then do the other arm. All right, today is November 12th, and what you are watching right now is yes. one of my friends, Raymond, my otherwise Alex known Cornell. as the online coach. Uh, he's got a YouTube channel. He is a natural pro bodybuilder, uh, incredible physique, and just an awesome overall guy. So be sure to go check him out, guys. We're good friends, and I don't really give too many shout-outs to my channel, so he's definitely one that I recommend to you guys. Um, go subscribe. Link's in the description box. And we are about to head to the gym, guys. It is currently 1238 right there. And uh, we are meeting up Tim, which is a guy I worked out with yesterday at 1 o'clock. So I uh, got to get down, got to get changed, everything, and ready to go. So I'm going to do all that, and I will see you all at the gym. Today's going to be a push day. So today we decided to go ahead and try a 5x5 five five with 230 pounds. So uh, the 5x5s five five are very staple, you know, a very great, simple, and effective way to get your strength up. So uh, I've never really done them in the past, per se, but... I'm going to go ahead and start kind of incorporating them into my routine. So um, last week I did 225 pounds on the flat bench for five sets of five without hitting failure. So uh, last week it was very grindy though. Um, I barely, barely got the fifth set of five reps. So uh, this week I decided to go ahead and bump it up. And surprisingly, um, even though the weight was a little bit more, uh, I ended up hitting five sets of five clean reps. And on the fifth set, I actually finished off with about seven reps. So um, I had a little bit more in the tank. I didn't want to just stop at the five reps because that's just how I am. Uh, even though it might be better for me to stop at the five reps, I'm just going to always push it till I pretty much can't anymore. Um, so yeah, guys, it's awesome because we're going to definitely increase the weight next time. But uh, here, I believe this is a fifth. Actually, I don't know if this is a fifth set. We'll see. 
Um, I guess we'll have to count these reps out, but I don't know if this was the last set or not. But working out with Tim, awesome workout partner. He keeps up and uh, pushes me. So two, you can see the bar speed really isn't that slow at all. Four and yeah, five. So that's it guys. Thank you for watching and finish off the rest of this video. All right guys, we are done with the gym. Um, pretty weird, we went in and the weather was like perfect. You know, it was nice, it was sunny, it felt good. And then um, all of a sudden, you know, an hour and a half goes by and now it's about 20 degrees colder. So um, I checked the weather and there's supposed to be like a cold front coming in tonight to where it's gonna get to like high 30s or low 40 degrees, which is crazy. I know a lot of you are like, man, that's like, that's nice weather. But for me, that's Texas. It's uh, not really too cold in Texas, so. I'm not really a cold weather kind of guy. Um, but yeah, we had a good workout. We got uh, 230 pounds on the bench press for five sets of five. And we did incline, we did flat, we did flies, military press, well like overhead press, and then two tricep movements, did some drop sets, and uh, got some force reps in there. Increasing the intensity of the workouts. And yeah, I'm sorry I'm kind of like paranoid here, guys. There's a lot of cops always. Man, the new Range Rovers look pretty cool. Um, I love the Range Rovers. But uh, yeah, there's always, always cops in this neighborhood. I'm just kind of like scouting out, so you gotta go 30 miles an hour, or like 32. But um, yeah guys, we're headed home. All we've had to eat today was one serving, of, or about a serving of Fiber One, and then two servings of Honeycomb to get some carbs in, and then we had a scoop of protein. So I probably shouldn't have a shake right now because I'm not too hungry, and then a nice, big, solid meal a little bit later. So I will see y'all in a little bit.